hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to update our akintosh guide 2022 version with montre now i'm using the minix ngc5 which is a mini pc and on the next video i will share with you the results that we can get with this device really straightforward we did review it i'm gonna leave links right over here we also upgraded to 32 gigs of ram and we swapped the ssd with a saver and two terabytes rocket pro so it's a really fast machine right over here now the guide that i'm going to share with you is based on the allreal.com guides which is a great site with a lot of information so i will leave the links down below and all the credits to are to the allreal community now this guide will have two phases one will be to create the usb drive that we will use to install the mac os on the pc and the second phase is the installation of Mac OS. Now we will use two systems to create the USB drive. One of which is for someone that already has Mac OS, which is my particular case, and the other one for someone that only has Windows. So let's start with the Mac OS version. Now things that you will need to download, and I will leave links down below so that it's easier for you, but we will need the image of the Mac OS Montre. Now we will use the image on the Allerilla website and although usually on my past Akintosh guides I did use a clean Mac OS downloaded from Apple in this particular case it's much easier if we use this image now it is completely clean it only has a few tweaks here and there that will help the installation and in my opinion at this moment this is the easiest guide to follow up so we will need that image we will also need the Belena etcher and we will need to download clover configurator and finally the most important thing which is the efi uh, folder and this will depend on the computer that we have now in this particular case as i said i'm using the minix ngc5 i need to know which cpu it has which generation so that i can go to the page that i will leave a link down below and we'll select the generation of the cpu of my computer whether if it's a desktop or a laptop so once i download that fe fold i'm good to go now let's open balena etcher and with balena etcher we just need to choose the image of the mac os montre that we downloaded we also will choose the usb drive that we want make it bootable and then select flash and it will flash our us speed and it will be faster or slower depending on the speed of our usb thumb drive in my particular case i didn't use a usb i used a sd card with the usb adapter but anything will work once this process is over we will open clover configurator and then on the fe menu we will select mount fe of our usb drive and we will need to delete the EFI folder that is already inside just delete it and grab the EFI folder that we download according to the system that we have and just grab that EFI folder to the EFI partition on the thumb drive and that is it this is a USB drive ready to install Mac OS on your computer now if you don't have Mac OS and if you have Windows let's go for it so on windows we will need the mac os montre image that it's available exactly on the same link that we saw on mac os we also need balena etcher because it works on windows and mac os we will need the mini tool partition wizard explorer plus plus and also the fi folder according to our system now we will need to open balena etcher and then uh, select the Montre Mac OS image, select the USB drive that we want to use, just press flash and it will flash the drive. Once it's over, we will need to open the mini tool partition wizard and then find the EFI partition of the USB drive, right click and select change letter to any letter available. Apply and once we apply it will be visible to the system so we will open explorer plus plus with the administration rights we will go there and just delete the EFI folder that is inside the EFI partition and we will paste the EFI folder that we downloaded from the Allerilla website according to our system and that is it we have just created a usb pen drive on macOS, and now 
on Windows and we are ready to start installing it on our computer. So first of all we will need to put in the USB drive on our system and then we will need to boot from that USB drive or in my particular case as I said the SD card. Now once we boot up the machine it will start and it will show us a few lines of commands and then we will get to a screen where we will select disk utility. On that disk utility we will need to format our disk where we are going to install Mac OS. In my particular case it was already formatted as AFPS and on your particular case if it's not you can choose AFPS or Mac OS journal it just make sure that it's not boot master record it is on uid if it doesn't appear then it will be fine it's just like mine once we do that we just need to close the disk utility select install mac os montray and then just follow a few steps we'll need to choose the uh, ssd where we are going to install and then just wait a while for the installation to go the machine will reboot and by default it will boot from the internal disk but if you see that it boots from the pen if anything happens just select the disk and move on we will need to wait for the process of the installation to conclude it will reboot at least two or three times until we get to a configuration part of the system of the mac os system and we will need just to follow the steps where we'll need to select the language the keyboard if we want to connect to the network our name of the account and so on and that is it we are on mac os desktop and we are ready to start working on it now there's only one final step because if we stop right over here what happens is that if i want to boot the machine i will always need my usb thumb drive to select and boot from it and to do that we will need to either download cover configurator or just copy cover configurator from the pen and put it on the new akintosh open clover configurator and then we will need to mount the fe partitions on the usb thumb drive and also on the internal ssd we will need to delete the fe folder inside the ssd and we will copy the fe folder from our usb drive to the internal ssd that is it we can close cover configurator we can shut down the computer and we can remove the usb drive once we press the power button on our computer it will not need the usb drive anymore it will boot by itself and that is it and in this particular case of the minix ngc5 it's a mini computer with two slots for m.2 so we can have for example windows and we can have mac os and it's a lot of fun but i will share that on my next video giving you the results that i have with this particular machine and that is it guys hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one